Hello, my dears, and welcome back. As always, here we are at a lesson number 11. Now, you might wonder, in our last lesson where we talked about rewiring the brain, and then you might say, but I thought all of these thoughts of mine, which would include my body and my brain, aren't even here and they're meaningless, so why talk about rewiring my brain? Very good question. The course jumps back and forth the way it's written, where it addresses us as if, that's the important word, as if we were separate people living in an objective world. And because that's what we so thoroughly believe is true, that if it didn't address us that way, there would be no way that we could have an interaction. The book couldn't get our attention at all if it didn't address us where we, notice what I'm about to say, think we are, not what's actually true about us. And then it will move on to speaking to us about our immortal reality, so to speak. So it got, jumps back and forth between addressing us as if we were a person and addressing us in the terms of our actual, real, loving, immortal, infinite, eternal reality. So that's why we talk about this as if talking about a brain made some sort of sense. Now this one says, my meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. And it says, now this is a really important part of the correction process. And here's the great big giant thing that needs to be corrected. Every single one of us have grown up believing that there is a great big objective world, that it's exactly the very same for all of us, always, all the time, and that we're somehow small little elements in this world. We have to deal with it as best we can. But the idea that the world is very large, unrelated to us, and we therefore are simply victims of whatever it is that happens in this world. And it says, no, no, no nothing could be further from the truth. It says, my thoughts are showing me, presenting to me a meaningless world. Everybody's world is tailor-made to them because everybody's world is an exact mirror, an exact replica, an exact seamless whole. Thoughts and form, thoughts and form, thoughts and form. So my world is an exact statement of my internal thought processes. So it says, be glad for this because this is a statement of your release. Now notice, if really an objective world is all there was and you were some little small thing in it, you kind of don't stand a chance for being completely free, completely sovereign, and completely in charge of your life. However, if we are each the ones making up the elements in our world, wow, what grand news. Because as I change my mind, change my thinking, let go of all of this debris that we've discussed, my world will keep changing as my thoughts keep changing so that it will become very clear, ah, I'm the one with the power. I change my mind. I can't tell you how many people I've talked to over all of these many years who will say, basically, I changed my mind about fill in the blank, whatever it is, and everything around me got to be different. Yes, indeed, that's the way it works. I change my mind and my world, which is my mirror, changes accordingly. It's very, very, very exciting. I hope you can feel the opportunities the amazing opportunities that are present in this. So it says, okay, for this lesson, do it three to five times, three minimum and five if you're comfortable with this. And then it says, close your eyes and repeat this le uh, lesson title. My meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. Then open your eyes and just start to look around easily, without effort, don't be in a hurry, at the various elements you see as you turn your head and you look around. I'm doing that too, <laughs> as if you were right in front of me. And you just are casual about the whole thing and realize 
it's my thoughts that's creating all of these forms, all of these things that I see. And then on concluding the exercise, close your eyes again and repeat once more the idea. Here we are. See, we're planting new seeds. My meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. This is a wonderful idea and the implications of this are huge and it's going to be repeated in many ways, many times. Okie dokie. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.